All right, for the stochastic oscillator expert advisor, we need to do the following. When designing it, we are told that whenever the red dotted line crosses above the blue line at the extreme of 80, then we should be looking to sell. Similarly, if it crosses below at the extreme of below 20, then we buy. According to stochastic users, this is an effective method. Now we have a signal line and we also have the main line. So to do this, we are going to be creating a crossover expert advisor, but in the form of a stochastic oscillator. Go ahead and start a new expert advisor. I've already done so and I've already pasted the void on tick in our bodyguards. Now we are going to be defining the stochastic. And first I'm going to define the K line because we're going to be needing both the K line and the D line, as you can see. Cool. I'm going to call this K line one. Now I stochastic should show up right there. Open brackets underscore symbol. Comma. Underscore period comma and below here we can see that it says 10 comma 7 comma 7 which is what we're going to be putting here perfect and then for the type and then for the mode of the moving average and then for the mode, we're going to be using the simple moving averages. Remember when I told you that most indicators use moving averages within them? Well, the stochastic is one of them, as I said. We're going to be putting a zero here. Then mode underscore main. close brackets, then semicolon. Then we're also going to be calculating the D line. D line one is equal to underscore symbol underscore period 10 7 7 mode mode underscore sma comma zero comma mode underscore mode underscore signal comma zero perfect and now as always oh forgot the close brackets as always we're going to be copying and pasting this because it's a crossover remember And then we're just going to be changing the shift there at the back. Cool. Now the if statement. Oh yeah, don't forget to call this D line two and K line two to differentiate them. Great. Now let's start with the cell. When the K line is above the D line and then it starts to go below the D line and both of these are above the 80, then that's a cell. The D 
or K line 1, it doesn't matter because both of them will be above 80 at this point. Copy this, paste it, switch up the parameters. And then make this one if it is below the 20. And then the signal will be a buy. As always, me, I put in my auto lots. And then I'm just gonna go and copy. the buy and the sell signals everything seems okay let's compile this bad boy and we get zero errors great now let's go and test it I'm actually interested to see if this one actually works because I know that the other ones don't work this is why I didn't test them but then you know you never know let's see what's up with this one it looks promising and it's mainly because I'm a fan of crossover EAs, so ain't no telling, you know? This is actually one that I might be willing to put in my attention. Yep. Nope. It's a bust. So here's the truth with many of these MT4 indicators. A lot of them are trash. And this is why I say that if you get anything for free, it's most likely going to be trash, you know, because you just downloaded the MetaTrader platform and then you got all these indicators, Mahala, which is just, it doesn't make sense why they would sell something that works for free. So I just wanted to warn you guys on free stuff. If you're gonna make an EA based on indicators, which is the majority of what you have to do with expert advisors, you can do candlestick patterns and all of that, but that's more advanced stuff. It's going to need its own course. For the beginner level, what you're going to be doing is using indicators and all of that stuff. You're going to have to learn this next vital skill, which is how to use custom indicators.